Hey guys, Smokey here, uh, and I've been asked quite a lot these days on how to get SWATOR to run better, how to get better FPS in SWATOR. So, I'm going to run you through the quick guide I did on this piece of shit of an old machine on how to get better FPS on SWATOR. So, first of all, I'm going to go to my computer, and I'm going to show you the system details of my computer currently. So, we're going to go to System Properties. And there you go. So I'm running on an old Intel Core, quad core CPU though. Uh, it's a Q6600, which is like so fucking old that like Jesus used it to write the Bible. I don't know. <laughs> it's 2.4 gigahertz. Uh, it has a 4 gig of RAM. Unfortunately, I'm using a 32-bit operating system, so it doesn't even understand that I've got 4 gigs. So it's only letting me use 3.25. So if you are, you do have more than 3.25 gig of RAM, you need to upgrade to a 64-bit uh, system. I just really can't be bothered to uh, wipe out my Windows and do it all over again. So as you can see, my computer is not that good. Um, I'm running on a H, uh, Radeon HD 3380 or something like that. It's only a 512 graphics card, and I still can get 30 frames per second using these few tips um, in my games. I can get 30 frames in PvP and PvE. In PvE, I can get like 100 um, by messing around with these settings. So I'm going to break it down to you uh, bit by bit, telling you what software you need and uh, how to make your game run better. So, first of all, if you're running with an AMD card or an ATI card, what the fuck are you doing open? Go away. Um, if you're running with an AMD or an ATI card, you're going to have the Cataclysm Control Center. You want to... Oh, that, that's Adobe. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, you want to right-click on your... Hello? Do you want to work today? There we go. So you want to open up your um, Cataclysm, right-click on it. Your first one is your first monitor. You wouldn't have two of these if you don't have two monitors, but I have two. So you click your first one, which is going to be your main monitor. You want to go to your 3D settings. Fuck you. 3D settings. Cataclysm AI, you want to click that as disabled. Minimap uh, uh, detail level, you want to set that to high performance. Uh, wait for vertical refresh, you want that always off. And adaptive anti-aliasing, disabled. OpenGL settings to triple buffering, uh, antiscopic filtering, put that on application managed, anti-aliasing, put that on application managed. Unfortunately, at the moment, the game doesn't support anti-aliasing until uh, the 17th of January. That's when it will. Once you've done all that, that's pretty much everything you can do there. Next, what most people do, uh, do is this. They go to their start here. They type in percent app data percent there's so many fucking guys telling people to do this and half of this shit doesn't even work and people are like yeah this is how you reduce your frames per second and and increase all this bullshit it's balls don't even believe half of these stuff that people are telling you i'll tell you the ones that actually do affect it and the ones that don't affect it so you want to go to um what am i doing okay you want to go to app, click back to your app data folder then local then you want to go down to swator there we go uh, you want to go into the SWAT or settings and client settings, and I'll tell you the ones that actually do affect it. Okay, so these ones are just the height, they don't change shit, okay? Ten, this one does, texture and anthropity, whatever. You want to set that to zero. Uh, mesh LOD quality, don't know what that is, set it to zero if it isn't already set to zero. Vertical sync, false. Enable bloom, that definitely has to be set to zero. Uh, or false, sorry. Texture quality to zero. Uh, true for that one. That one doesn't make a difference. This plant density. All people are like, oh my god, reduce it to zero because it'll give you so much FPS. It's bullshit. It doesn't. I mean, especially in PvP. Maybe in PvE a little bit, but in PvP it doesn't do shit. There is no plants in PvP. Fucking Alderaan has got like a few grass things. It doesn't do shit. Uh, do blob shadows, whatever, leave that as true. Full screen, whatever, leave it as whatever. Uh, far clip scale, 0 0.25. And then these two fuckers here. Um, they say speed tree gives you like a fog of war shit. Don't work, okay? You still render what's on the other side of the fog of war. You just can't see it. People are like, oh, it runs faster. It runs fast. It does not fucking run fast at all, okay? Don't fucking change it. Mine's on one point something because I was messing around with it, but it doesn't do anything. Uh, you're still rendering whatever's on the other side. Uh, because I can prove this because when you walk, you lose no FPS from the point where you don't see it to the point where you do see it. So there's no way it's rendering that whole structure in that point sixth of a second. So you can change that. Just leave that whatever. 
and save it and that's it okay that's all you can really do in here the only thing that I'd be changing is the texture quality and the texture and uh, and astropity uh, we can't even change the fucking uh, anti-aliasing until Gen 7 uh, January 17th when it comes out as an option to be able to change so that's pretty much all you can do in there you want to save that and exit that and that's all you can do in Swatter, okay? Other than that, you can set your game to a lower um, resolution, but it looks shitter. Uh, you can set your quality to low. Make sure you turn shadows off. Make sure all that's off, okay? Everything down to lowest settings. Uh, vertical sync off. Everything off. Uh, just down to low. That's all you can do in Swatter itself and the back end of Swatter's files. Now, computer-wise, this is what you want to do. Okay, first of all, you want to go to your Star Wars Republic, Old Republic EXE. You want to go on Properties, and then you want to go to Compatibility. Uh, this does seem to give you like two or three frames per second more. Don't ask me why, but just click Run this program as Compatibility Mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3. That seems to work really well. Uh, also, make sure you've got Disable Visual Themes and Disable Desktop Composition. That gives you like two or three FPS as well. Uh, run this program as an administrator, make sure that all that's done in compa uh, compatibility, click apply, click OK. That's all you can do to this Swartor EXE file on its own. The next things we're going to be looking at is uh, computer-wise, uh, like I said, a bit more computer-wise. You want to go download a... why is that massive? Fuck off. There we go. Um, first of all, you want to go download this program. Okay, this program's called Game Booster. Uh, I'll put a link in the description about it. It's basically a uh, gaming optimizer. It just closes background uh, game, uh, background stuff down, so you haven't got it running all the time. Uh, people keep saying it's a virus. It's a virus. It's not a fucking virus. Stop being a dickhead and just download it. It's great. Um, I'll put the link in the description. Once you've downloaded it, it will look like this. Uh, when I finally open it. Uh, nope, don't want to download the new version. Thank you very much. Okay, it looked like this. Uh, I'm running on 2.41. There's a new one now. Uh, the great thing about it, you can get game drivers. You can download essentials like TeamSpeak, Ventrilo, and stuff. You can defrag a game as well. Uh, you can do system tweaks, so you can set your system to top performance. You can also change your power settings, uh, disk cleanup, uh, check your computer speed, keyboard, mouse, everything like that. The only thing we're going to do for this is this. Uh, we go to main and we're going to go click the boost. Okay. Once you've done that, um, you'll see that it says 14 services of and apps have stopped and 122 meg of RAM have been defragmentated. So what we're going to do, we're going to click to restore and I'm going to just show you what else you can do with this. You can customize it and click on every th fucking thing you can see. Make sure you click every fucking thing. Especially all this. What the fuck? I don't want Java open and these things. Uh, and click next. Uh, make sure you click yes. Okay, now you've boosted. It's 19 services and apps have been stopped and 370 megabyte of RAM have been defragmented. Once that's done, it'll go minimize itself now to the bottom of your tray and boom, it's gone. That's all it does. It's great. Freeze up your memory. Make sure no other shitty programs in the background are using all the stuff that you don't want it to be using. Okay, the next program we're going to be looking at is this one. Okay, and this is just for people that have shitty processors and I can't be held responsible if you fuck your computer up doing this, okay? Um, here's the warning right here. If you're a beginner, do not use this software. This software is for power users only. Use ZFSB at your own risk. This basically is a little bit of a shitty program. <laughs> it's not a shitty program, it's an okay program. It just allows you to overclock your processor if your computer's locked to overclocking. So right now in my computer I'm using a Dell XPS 420 and Dell don't let you overclock because they're gay. That That's basically what they are, they're gay, they don't let you overclock. But this allows me to do it. Uh, what you'll have to do though is you'll have to Google how to find your uh, set FSB settings and look for your damn computer's motherboard or computer itself. It will tell you your FB set FBS settings and I'll show you how it works. Once you've downloaded it, uh, you'll have to put it into a folder like this. You'll get an icon called set FSB. You want to open that set FSB up and you'll get this, okay? So my, my clock generator that I'm messing around with is CV183APG. 
And as you can see, my clock is currently 2.4 gigahertz. I know, I've tested this out, you have to test it out. I know I can set mine to 280 without my, uh, my computer crashing, basically. And if I click set FSB, my computer just went from 2.4 gigahertz to 2.9. And that's just boosted my FPS by about 15 in PvP. And that's pretty amazing. So now I've got my um, computer boosted to uh, three gig near enough. Uh, without it, w it w the, the temperature's fine on my c my clock cooler because I've tested the temperature over and over and over, and it's fine. It's been on for like four or five hours. Um, like I said, this is not a beginner's thing. Don't just go and click it and go download it. If you fuck your computer up, it's your own fault. <laughs> Go and find other people that have already done it on your computer using what stock coolers they're using and what coolers they're not using and find out the minimum settings that you can actually set yours to. Next you want to go to another program you want to go and get is MSI Afterburner. It's a graphics card performance booster and it looks a bit like this. Let's just minimize it. I'll put the link in the description where you can get this program uh, and it looks a bit like this. Okay, So as you can see I'm running on an ATI Radeon HD 3800 series. It is a uh, currently it is a 512 graphics card. Its original settings here, this clock speed was like 700, uh, 650 or 670. I've overclocked it all the way up to 825, which is giving me like an about an 80, uh, like a, about 20 FPS increase. And I've also boosted the memory clock megahertz to 1126, and it was about 900 originally. Uh, the only problem is it does reach an idle. Is core temperature now is 65 degrees, which is really bad because when I'm playing the game, it will go over to 85 and crash. Uh, but you have this thing, fan clock speed. You press this, and your fans kick in on your graphics card. And now my fans are running at 77%, and you'll eventually see the temperature drop on the CPU down to about 30 to 35 degrees on idle. And when it's running the game, it will be around 65, 70 degrees. So I boosted my graphics card to better performance. The fans running a bit faster. It's a bit more noisier, but it boosts my graphics and it boosts my um, FPS in my SWAT game by about another 10, 15. So I went from like running at about 7 FPS, 8 FPS on um, Battlegrounds like Alderaan, and now I'm running at 25 to 30 FPS in Alderaan and 35 to 40 FPS in the other two PvP matches. In PvE leveling zones, I'm running at about 30 to 40 FPS in high populated zones and about 90 to 120 in low populated zones, and it's great. Uh, and I can make videos. As you can see, you've seen my PvP videos. That's exactly what I did to increase my FPS. None of this bullshit where people are saying that you need to fucking change this, change that. I've given you the exact same things that I've used that work for me. Not what people are saying may work. The exact things that will work. Okay? If you've got an old, old processor, blow that fucking shit up. Okay? The only other, pro the only other thing is, and the only 100% definite way to get a pro uh, computer that will run SWATO is buy a new computer. Or buy some parts that will upgrade your computer. Mainly CPU, RAM, and the graphics card. Okay? Because they're going to boost your, uh, your, your gameplay a lot. So guys, if this has been helpful for you, please favorite and like this video and subscribe. Uh, you know me, I'm bringing you more SWATOR videos every day. Uh, I just had enough of looking at these fucking people doing all these stupid guides and none of them actually work. Uh, I'd rather show you a full in-depth guide of how to maintain a good computer and get better graphics in your games. This is not just for SWATOR, by the way. The things I've just done will boost your gra graphics in World of Warcraft, Call of Duty, um, Skyrim, uh, League of Legends, anything, any game that you're having trouble with, these will boost it for any of those. So uh, for now, just use it for SWATO, but later on you're having problems with another game, try it out, because I'm guaranteed it'll work. Uh, up until that, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time, and don't let people fucking tell you you, you can't play SWATO because your computer's old, because they're just bullshitting you, okay? Show them, prove them wrong, fucking use these tips, get your game running, and kick some ass in PvP, and I'll see you next time. Smokey out.